Welcome to Lecture Online. In this video, we're going to get familiar with some common terminology that we should be familiar with, especially terminology such as inflection points, local extrema, and roots. So what are inflection points? Well, notice here we have two graphs, one of an even polynomial function and one of an odd polynomial function. I should say even order and odd order. Even order means this is x to the fourth power, x to the sixth power, x to the eighth power, something like that. And this would be x cubed, x to the fifth, x to the seventh. Although looking at that, that probably could be an x cubed. It has to be at least an x to the fifth or an x to the seventh. And this would have to be at least an x to the sixth power. All right, it may be higher power, we don't know. Okay, so what are inflection points? Notice that this is pretty steep right here. The curve becomes less and less and less steep. Then all of a sudden, then eventually it becomes horizontal and you would expect it to continue up in this direction, but it doesn't, then it goes back down to a negative slope. So we have negative slope, zero slope, back to a negative slope. This here is called an inflection point. If we go to this graph, we have a similar situation. Here, notice that we have a positive slope. The slope gets less and less and less steep. Here, you'd expect it to continue going this way, but it doesn't, it stops, and then it turns back in that direction. It becomes steeper again, so here again, we have ourselves what we call an inflection point. Second, we want to look at what we call local max and min. A local max and a min is called a local extrema point, a local extreme point. It has a height, a maximum height in the local vicinity or a minimum height in local vicinity, but it's not the, what we call the absolute maximum or the absolute minimum. So here we come down, we have an inflection point, then it continues on down, we reach a lowest point, this would be called an extrema or a local extrema because notice that over here it goes down even further. This is not the lowest point of the graph, so this is a local minimum but not an absolute minimum. This here is, is what we would call an absolute minimum. This is the lowest point on the entire graph. So this is the lowest point. We call that the absolute minimum, absolute min. And this is what we call a local min. So this is a local extrema. This is an absolute minimum. Now here we have what we call a local maximum. Notice that it does reach the highest point right here. It comes back down, but here it goes much higher than this point, and here we're much higher than this point. So this is called a local maximum or local max. So we have an inflection point, a local min, a local max, an absolute min because that's the absolute lowest point on the graph. And then notice on both sides here, that goes to the absolute maximum point in the y direction. But of course, we can't identify what that is because it goes up to infinity. On the right side here, on this graph, notice we have an inflection point and it curves back up. Here we reach a maximum value, but not the absolute highest maximum because it goes higher over here. So this is what we call a local max. Then it dips back down over here. Here we have a, a minimum point, but not the lowest minimum because the curve goes lower over here. So this is a, what we call a local min. And then up here, we then can see that it goes to a maximum value. Here that goes to a minimum value. So, but the absolute max and the absolute min cannot be defined because they go on forever and go to a positive infinity on the right side and a negative infinity on the left side. As far as roots are concerned, those are the places where the graph crosses the x-axis. So in this case, we have one root, two roots, three roots, four roots. So this has four roots, so it's at least, at the very minimum, a... Um, a fourth order equation, although because of the inflection point, it must be at least a sixth order equation. Here, we only have one root over here. It could have had a second and a third root if this had dipped down. And because of the inflection point, so one, two, three possible roots plus an inflection point, this is at least a fifth order polynomial. So now you understand at least the terminology of an inflection point, a local max, a local min, an absolute max, an absolute min, and then, of course, we have some absolute max and min here that are not defined because they go out to infinity. The only way that those absolute min and absolute max can be found if we have a limit as to how far we can go in the x direction. If we have a, a cutoff point so that we only have a portion of the overall um, polynomial, then we can say, well, if this is the farthest point on the graph, then this would be the absolute min, and then this would be the absolute max. But only if we're defined to go only from a given x value on the left side to a given value on the right side. 
So now you're familiar with this terminology and we keep going on discovering how to graph polynomials of higher order.